ready for the nerf battle? Yeah, I'm ready, but you do real you do realize it is uh dual wield Wednesday, right? You you know this, right? Yeah, so what does that mean? I'm like why is that a big deal? I mean I I did bring a secondary. I have a primary ready to go. I I, I don't see what the big problem is. Well, see your secondaries have to be dual wield. Which means you need two Oh really? It's a good thing I got this guy then. Hehe. <laughs> gotcha. <sighs> Next time I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just not gonna say anything. Hello people of the internet. I am back to doing Nerf Blasters, you are welcome. And today's Nerf Blaster is the Split Strike. The two for one. Double your power, double your strength. Right? 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 Maybe. That's what we're here to find out. So, this hunk of plastic Splits into two. It's biggest feature. It's two for one. And to be fair, to to be fair, I mean that is not a bad idea. Like it really isn't. For a couple of reasons. One, you get two of them, which means that if you're looking for a fair nerf fight and you've got two of another blaster, well, you can just hand one of these off to be a fair fight, you know? So, there's that. And it makes it easy for your siblings to have a nerf war. If, if you're collecting nerf blasters and you want to have a nerf battle around the house, well then, honestly, I would go with these. For said thing, because... Low capacity means you lose dart, lose less darts, and, well, they're easy to use, which means that your noobish five-year-old brother won't break it. So, how you split them apart is this little, little safety selector switch, and then putting them back together. It's a little bit finicky. A lot of people screw this one up. You have to line up this this clip into this this gap, and it's like a. And then you have to line up the handle together and slap it together. That can be a little finicky, and I know a couple people who've gotten real real ticked off from that one. But yeah, this is the battle camo version. I have no idea what the regular version looks like. I have never seen it in person, and I have enough Nerf guns for this to not be in, for that to not really be a necessary purchase. You get no tactical rails at all, none. And honestly, I'm uh, kind of bugged about that because, well, it looks like you have the space, but with that splitty gimmick, it kind of gets rid of that. So tactical rail on the side maybe right there so we can slap on a red dot maybe pretty please pretty, 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 pretty please um yeah four four barrels this is um this is a smart a ar system so yeah, so it's smart somehow. Whatever that means. I don't know how a Nerf blaster can be smart. Lately, Nerf has been dumb, so... With Ultra, which you will see no reviews on Ultra on this channel. I am not wasting my money on that. No thank you. You're not welcome in this household. Keep your stupidity out of here. Please and thank you, Ultra. You are ultra bad. Not ultra good. Ultra bad. And I'm not wasting money on you. You suck. So, yeah. Why Why did I go on about that? Yeah, that, I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, well. 
<sighs> yeah, it's it's a split stripe with no rails, four rails. Oh, to prime it, pull back on these sweet, sweet, sweet flimsy pieces of plastic. Now you're locked and ready to go. Two triggers, which means you can go one or double. I sound like that 80s ad where you can do one or double. Feel free to blast your friends with two darts instead of one. Yeah, kind of ridiculous. But yeah, you can prime one, you can prime two, you can prime both. It's a split strike, two triggers too, so yeah. I'm not even pressing both triggers, so yeah, split strike. Included are four trash darts with camo, which means they're clearly better because they're camo. No, they're 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 awful. So we are going to shoot those, and then we are also going to shoot the superior elite dart, the superior dart. Find my darts, my dart review video on my channel. For more information, thank you. Okay. And then we will also be shooting target darts. There is an also a video on these. Check that out too. Thanks for the free clout. All right, on to the main part of this video. Blasting clone trip Bob. See you at the range. Alright, we're at the range and we have... Bob? What are you doing behind the tree? I know, I know, it sucks, but... Uh, we gotta get... Provide quality... Entertainment! That was quality entertainment, folks. At its, at its best, clearly. Good. Good. At the range. With... I forgot the darts. <laughs> With the darts! Ah, yay, there we go. Much better. Loading up elite included elite trash, elite heresy, elite nonsense. Two at a time. I shot three darts. Um, okay. Well, I only need to shoot one, so we might as well only shoot one. Trash! Hey, that worked. Now putting it back together for Adventure Force nonsense or Adventure Force holiness, Adventure Force Christianity, Adventure Force whatever religion you worship, I am not racist, or a building. Here we go. Two, two darts, hopefully. Hopefully two darts. Two darts. Human error. Human error. Okay. Target darts. <sighs> uh, starting off with the toothpick. Screwdriver. Yay. 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 All right, to the bench for final thoughts. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, foof, foof, you get 
might say my opinion is split in half. Ah ha. Ah, yeah. <laughs> You get, uh, well, no performance with elite darts. I mean, they shoot hard when you shoot one at a time. When you shoot one at a time, and that's about it. So go with Adventure Force. Adventure Force. Yeah, they don't shoot the Adventure Force that well either. Honestly, it's just, this is all about gimmicks. It's more of a gimmicky blaster than it is a performance-based blaster. I mean, it's thin, so, you know, make chest pouches for those and just shove them on your chest or on your arms because they're thin, so you could, like, you know, store them in places that you wouldn't store other blasters, you know, because they're, like... They're about as tall as a pancake, almost, almost, almost the thickness of a pancake. So they're good to store when they're not together, but then when you put them together, they're just too bulky for any type of storing. So, phew. wow, wow, my uh, my opinion is really just split in half, actually. Uh, Good and bad? Well, yeah, of course there's good and bad. I mean, lack of rail, but more gimmick? Uh, yeah. Wow. Meme the daylights out of this blaster because honestly, it's just, it's what it is. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a blaster. It's, it works. It works, but. Yeah, uh, seriously, honestly, uh, it's not really good for big battles, but small battles, this would do the trick, honestly. This would, do, this would do it for smaller blood, smaller battles, this would do the trick, but for large mainstream battles, eh, eh, not so much. Not so much at all. At all. But, uh, yeah, thanks for, uh. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you have an opinion about these because I, uh, 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 yeah, I can't really pull an opinion out of this. It's kind of make it what you will. It's, yeah, decide whether or not you want to buy these. If you do, then sh sure. If you don't, then don't. Like, it's your opinion. It's your, it's. It's your choice. Your choice. I'm, I'm just giving you the facts. Make out of it what you will. Okay. See you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed. More twirliness before we go. See you later. Peace.